This trawler yacht is the Seahorse 52, built by Seahorse Marine. Seahorse Marine have been building displacement yachts and motor sailors for over 35 years. If you are a fan of long range and economical power cruisers, then chances are you have probably already seen this impressive looking trawler yacht. The Seahorse 52 is designed and built to be a liverboard. So if you are thinking about selling your bricks and mortar and taking to a life at sea, then the Seahorse 52 is worth putting on your list of vessels to consider. When it comes to engine choices, then you have the option of either a single 300 horsepower John Deere diesel engine, or if you want the peace of mind that comes with having twin engines for your long range cruises, you can opt for twin 160 horsepower engines. Personally, I always prefer the option of having twin engines rather than a single engine, especially for long range cruising. With a single engine, you can expect a maximum speed of between 9 and 11 knots. If you're happy to cruise along at a cruising speed of 7 knots, then you can expect a range of around 2,500 nautical miles. Her fuel tanks can hold 840 gallons of diesel. Meanwhile, her fresh water tanks have the capacity for 300 gallons of water. The upper decks of the Seahorse 52 are clearly designed for rough weather motoring with plenty of grab rails on the superstructure and wide side decks. The boat deck has plenty of room for a 12 foot tender launched and recovered by a 24 volt hydraulic crane. The flybridge has a central helm position with plenty of seating. A retractable canopy provides protection from the elements. Meanwhile inside, huge windows surround the salon with the galley located on the port side of the vessel. As we head up to the pilot's house, one of the first things you might notice as we arrive is the 360 degree view. Again, here we find ample seating for guests. Now my regular viewers will know just how much I love technology. Personally, I'd prefer more screens and displays on the helm, but that is of course a personal preference. As we head down to the accommodation area, first of all, let us take a look at the master stateroom. One of the first things that sticks out to my nautical eye is the sheer amount of storage space there is in here. It is unlikely that a couple are going to end up arguing about who gets the most storage space as there is plenty to go around. Remember, this boat is designed and built to be a liverboard. One thing that sticks out to me in the guest stateroom is the seating space and the table. This area provides a nice space to head to if you want some time out during those long passages. In terms of cost, this hand laid fiberglass hulled trawler yacht will set you back around 820,000 US dollars for a twin engine version and 798,000 US dollars for the single engine version. The price mentioned is for the 2017 model called Dreamcatcher that was featured in this video. But what do you think of the Seahorse 52? Let me know in the comments below. Before you go, please do not forget to subscribe to my channel. And also, please don't forget to check out my other videos. You can also find me on Instagram and if you want to chat about any boats or yachts that you think I should feature on my channel, then feel free to send me a direct message. 
I also have a free newsletter that only takes a few moments to sign up to. I will leave a link to both my Instagram and my free newsletter in the video description. So until next time, fair winds and following seas. Thank you.